All right, so um, following the previous video, we just want to discuss um, what is the sensitivity of uh, the solved PNP routine, which is the one that recovers the pose of a marker relative to the amount of noise on the input data to that routine. And the input data to that routine is the positions of the corners projected into the camera's image plane. So we have this synthesized setup where we have a camera which it represents a full frame camera with a 16 millimeter lens, um, and that camera is operating at 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, we have a test marker, which is currently the width of an A4 piece of paper. We can adjust that. Um, let's put it back. The um, marker is currently sitting at one meter distance. And then what we see here is we see the marker um, projected into the image plane so we can see what it looks like in the camera's image. And we can zoom in on that, so we get a 100% view of the camera's image. And then we, um, using this node here, we recalculate where the marker actually is in space. And we draw that on top of the existing marker. Now, because the um, computer um, currently, you know, it doesn't have any error, it doesn't have any noise on, on that closed loop routine, it's actually able to very well recover the position of the marker. So what we want to do is we want to add a bit of noise in. So here we see we've got 0 0.01 pixels of noise. Uh, we can turn that up. We can see that how that how that enacts in terms of where it thinks those corner positions are, and then ultimately where it actually recovers that marker position to be. So this is around 10 pixels of noise. So that means that each corner value is returned with plus or minus 10 pixels. Um, and we see that the, the marker's position actually is still quite stable. Um, the thing that's particularly uh, um, sensitive to this is the rotation. Now, this can become very important um, during marker map routines, where you need to rely on the reference frame of one marker uh, when passing over to subsequent markers. So, you, for instance, if you can see this marker now, and then you see it in another frame, with this marker and some other ones, you rely on that rotation frame in order to align the other markers with this one. So the first thing we learn here is that the, um, the rotational uh, sensitivity is the one to look out for in general. Um, so I'm just going to put that noise back down to something reasonable. So what we found in our previous tests is like 0.1 pixels is quite, is quite standard. So with 0.1 pixels, we've got a very stable resolving of that marker. All right, so let's move that marker out to five meters distance. Try that again. Yeah. Okay, so now it's at five meters distance. It still has 0 0.1 pixels of uh, noise on the corners. And now we see more of a um, pronounced result because obviously if we look in the camera's image, uh, let's just put that to the stretch. If we look in the camera's image, the marker of course uh, appears much smaller and therefore um, there's much less distance between these corner points, uh, so the relative noise to distance between the corner points um, is much higher, um, with the same amount of noise on the um, on, on the image. All right, so um, let, let's see how sensitive uh, this is. So if we can, if we're somehow able to reduce that noise by a factor of ten, so that could either be um, by increasing the resolution of the camera or by um, creating better routines for sub-pixel accuracy, or uh, also there might be some other ways to um, work on the image in order to reduce that noise. We can see now we start to get to the same, uh, or even better than it was uh, at uh, one meter's distance. And we can pretty much presume that um, the uh, as this noise increases uh, uh, linearly, um, uh, so, so as this distance increases linearly, it has a same relationship as increasing the noise linearly as well. So the equivalent noise on the result is probably around the same as um, either if we increase the noise here or if we increase the distance here, because they both result in the same ratio of difference in, in this image plane. Okay, so uh, what we find is that a noise of 0 0.01 is, is highly acceptable at 5 meters for an A4 marker. Um, and if we come back up, uh, one pixel uh, is very, very rough, um, not very acceptable at all uh, in terms of um, resolving the marker. Uh, 
last time what we found was we had like around 0.4 pixels with the um, uh, with the outer corner routine, which would give this kind of noise, and uh, we had around 0.1 pixels uh, with the inner corner routine, which is um, you can see the difference in stability there would make a marked difference if you're trying to make a mark map. Okay, so um, that's sensitivity to noise. Now let's try um, sensitivity to diameter of marker. Now if we were to make that marker half the size, um, we then see that the, uh, again, uh, the, the, the noise on the resolve pose increases significantly. Um, and it seems that actually, uh, oh, sorry, that's the noise value back. Um, if we are to put it back to here, the, um, the diameter of the marker has a significant difference. So, so even changing it by around 20% there, you can see there's a, a marked difference in the accuracy. We get almost like twice as much error in, that, um, in the translation there. So it seems to possibly, uh, the noise seems to possibly operate roughly on the square of the diameter of the marker. So if you, um, or, or, or perhaps the inverse square, so if you increase the marker's width by two, um, obviously increase the height by two, you seem to get about a quarter as much noise um, on the translation, uh, which is just easy to, to view here. Um, and if you increase the noise by an order of Let's just do that with the pen. Oh, okay, I deleted that by accident. Um, anyway, we, we, we found that I think that this is roughly proportional to the noise, is the amount of um, the noise on the result pose is roughly proportional to the noise on the image points. Let's bring that back. Um, what was it again? Experiments. Uh, points. Right, so um, that's just some kind of brief results.